everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd, back with another episode of Chivo Town here in Banished, our one achievement, our one town achievement run. There are um, five more episodes left. Actually, let me check that. There are five more episodes left in this season. So we're only going to go to 12 episodes. And I am back from my vacation with my family. Very happy to be back. And um, happy to be back with you. Good to see that the you guys do like to see this. And if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. And I hope that you enjoy it. So don't be a stranger. Feel free to leave a comment below and if you like the video obviously leave a like it lets me know that it's a good series and that you want to see more of it all right so we left off in our last episode building the orchard which is where we started there and then we moved away so um now it looks like we are clearing i didn't really spend some time to really understand what we're doing here whoops but um but anyways we we are starting up here once again, um, firewood is okay, and logs are okay. We have a shortage of stone, which it looks like that we are, yes, getting back from up there, and we have our orchard. So uh, I do have the event log up. I hope everyone appreciates that. I'm going to take off the disasters because I'm not playing with it, and that's just I just like to do that. Um, we are going to turn back on the death with old age. I think I turned that off um, during my last playthrough of Banished. So we have one achievement down. The next one we want to, I think we should really work towards, obviously, is building up. Um, building up so that we can have a population of 300. Um, one of the achievements is, where is it? Established is to build a town that has a population of 300 after 100 years. So 300 seems to be a magic number. You can also get the settlement achievement with it, as well as getting the isolationist, which we're doing without uh, 300 without a trading post. Um, reaching population 300 without building schools. And all right, that's about all of it. So. So, all right, looks like we got all of that. Oh, we need coal for those steel tools because our blacksmith is working, but we're only using iron. Steel will help us out, help bridge the gap between um, not having, what do I want to say? Uh, because we don't have any education happening, um, we, need, we need to get every advantage that we can. So let's look at building, if I can get there, there we go, we need coal, yep, mine for coal, oh that's right, it needs to be a mountain, oh wait, I have a mine, there it is, no one's working on it, how many do we have, oh we have, how many, oh, we have plenty of people, there we go, oh well screw that with the iron production. That was a huge limit. Yeah, we'll go there, and then we'll go there. We need coal first. Three, four, uh, we'll do five. Yeah, we'll leave it there at 15. That's fine. All right, five people working for that. We have food coming in. As we noticed, we're having a food shortage. And we need, do we need more? Chilled more farms. We have 80 coats, is what I'm looking at here. 80 clothing. I could say that we could we could handle. Let's build up some of these as stone houses. How much does that take? 40 stone, which is just ridiculous to me. Which is a good thing I like in in as I think I said before in the Colonial Charter mod. It's ridiculous the amount that they want us to uh, to pull here for for stone to build stone houses. Um, Forty stone for a stone house, please. All right, let's uh, let's get all that iron too. So as we're 
We have plenty of stone up here, too. We could also build another quarry, of course, but I want to deplete the, the surface stuff first. Did these stones grow? I mean, that'd just be crazy, right? Stones don't grow. It looks like they kind of did. I don't remember them there. Also, I gobbled them up. So we have some stone over here as well, and plenty of iron over here, which is why, really, we don't need that. Oh, I do need to know the path that they're taking here. Um, path. All right, so it looks like we can build a road here. But then from there, they all kind of branch out in different ways. So we'll just start it right, right there. Oh. Right, let's hope I can remember that as I'm looking to build the road. Yep, right about there. And that. Oh, can't do that. There, like that. There we go. Now we'll just build a little bit more road there. Uh, we may want to bring that up to stone, but it looks like we need to chill with the stone, using the stone there. Um, all right, plenty. Uh, do we have plenty of wood? I think we have plenty of wood. I do have farmers, right? I didn't forget to set them back. Okay. Uh, you only need one there. One, one, one. One, one, one. Got corn being grown. All right, these beans are really helping us out here. Cordo Cornardo, the laborer, has died of old age. All right, so we got a stone house there. So one of the achievements is also 100 stone houses, which is why I was building stone houses there. If you were wondering, we do have stockpiles, lots of stockpiles around. You actually need one, yeah. Okay. Herbalist, that's fine. We're starting to get some coal. So with that coal, we can switch over to steel tools. Steel tools will also help us get an achievement called... Where the heck is it? Blacksmith. Equip a population of over 200 adults with steel tools for four years. So we want to start this now because... It'd be hard if we kept on going with um, with iron tools. One, obviously, the slow down factor of you're not they're not doing stuff. They're not chopping wood. They're not gathering resources. They're not harvesting as quickly as they can. But also, it'd be hard to replace a higher population with um, with more tools that they already have in their possession, that sort of thing. I don't want 175. We'll bring this up to 125. As we have more and more people, we have more laborers now, so we can continue our harvesting there, our mining of the coal. All right, once this reaches the yeah, fuel limit, when, once we get up to the fuel limit, then we'll we'll stop there. I'm not going to tear down a house now. I am going to build said house. It's kind of far from production. This is totally full of iron and logs. Plenty of venison. How are these looking? Good. Oh man, see? Yeah, we need we need housing up here. So we'll build Stone house there, and a stone house there. Now, what we're just going to do is have them clear it, and then we'll build it. Because we don't really have all that stone right now. All right, so we're going to pause that, and we're going to wait for them to remove these two trees. Wow, it's taking a long time to move those trees, but there we go. So then we'll pause that. But we do need 
We do need that. Um, have we gathered up all of the stone that I asked them to gather up? Yes, it looks like we have. That did not yield a lot of stone. So, once more. Problem is, they have to really go a long way to get all this stone. That's not really my my problem, but I guess it kind of is. I just don't want to hear them complaining is what I'm really getting at. I feel like we should build another um Oh no, this intersection's got to remain clear. That's right. We can build down yonder like a fishing fisherman down there. This is producing great, I hope. Look at all that water. It's beautiful, all that water we're getting. All right, so that ends there. Really, the next fisherman should be right here on this coast. And then here we can build one, because it'll get that stream as well. I think it, I think it takes in the creek there, the creek. So... I want to get that as well, but maybe even over here to get this this long path, that long stretch of river with a little bit of the 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 curvature there. Why don't we do that? So let's go here. I need some fish. Uh, how much water? Like kind of like right there, right? I mean, it's all getting the same amount of water. I like that. That looks nice. All right, so we'll extend the road. Well, I don't know how they're going to do it, but we'll put a road there at least. All right, we got fishermen dying, and being born, and being replaced, making steel go. We're having coal shortages. We'll keep five laborers on hand. Doing great production of wood here, or are we just using up wood? We have plenty of firewood. Yeah, make sure they can get to it. I hope they can get to it. Yeah, look at all that firewood. That thing was up to, what was that, up to 800 or so? Now it's down to 632. That's why I have two woodcutters. What the hell? Why did I have three builders? Uh, we have all the, the tools we could need, which is good for the coal, because now the coal can be recuperated there. All right, all our orchards are producing now. Beautiful. All right, we do have stone, so let's start this up again. Stop me up! There we go, raise up the builders. Yeah, it's, oh, there we go. All right. It says that no one's working on it, but it's still rising. Chastasi has replaced Venia as a hunter. I don't think we've had babies born in a while since late spring. Well, we did have one child born, but we do need more, 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 more. Food might still be an issue. Hmm, that's what we need. We need agriculture. I think we should continue up here with the agriculture. So to that end, oh, look at that placement. That's beautiful. I know, it only looks nice. It's not like it really matters. Um, because I come up here, just, I can't put a crop field up here. Oh, I can. Ooh -hoo -hoo. All right, well, I don't want it there. I want it there. 11 by 11. Oh, damn you. No, not there. 
11 by 6. Oh well, someone can still work it. Work it, girl, work it. Yeah, we'll do we'll do corn. I mean, they can plant it. I don't think we're going to get anything. Oh, they need to remove trees. Excellent. All right, I need more fishing. There we go. So now we only have two laborers, which isn't good. Kind of want a little bit more than that. Uh, oh, there we go. Well, we just had labor join the workforce there. You get these things built. Let's go. Chop, chop. And corn. Yeah, let's we'll do corn. Not going to be able to harvest anything from that, but our walnut orchards are going beautifully. Um, you might want to harvest this now. Thank you. I know I didn't get a full harvest out of that. But everything else was being harvested. I don't know why that one wasn't. Late bloomer. It's all right. Bringing in all that food. That's what we want. I guess we can set up a... Where is it? Stockpile here. Now nah, we'll put a house there. Ooh, wait, we can put another house. Do, do, do. All right, easy with that. All right, we don't need to put stone over here now. Did I already put stone over here? Yeah. I did not want to do that. <laughs> okay, we got people moving in. Wonderful. We'll get these stone houses sooner or later. I'm wondering if I'm forgetting anything here. We're doing all right. Oh, a stockpile over here would be nice. Uh, where he wants, we can do it. Where the hell is it? There you go. Six by five stockpile. And again, the marketplace. What are we going to do with the marketplace? Now we're kind of dealing with a lot of, a lot of overlapping stuff. If I would try to put the marketplace down, well, I have a lot of hunter, you know, hunting cabins around here. You know, eventually we're going to have to move this, which I think I've said before. Because this would actually be a great spot for the, um, what do I want to say? It would be the great spot for the marketplace. What I am going to do is actually, you know what, let's start preparing for that. We're going to move the hunting lodge. Now the venison gets put into a storage barn. So let's call it... And as one of the viewers pointed out, you want to kind of look for where the, the animals are. But see, I, I heard differently that it doesn't matter where the animals are. They're just for show. I don't really look at the wiki for it. But with my last thing to do in this episode of our agricultural expansion, is that we're going to put a hunting cabin. Oh, man, that really... And they really take up a lot, don't they? Because even here, I mean, oh, I can't, huh, if I point with my finger, it doesn't help. But if you can see where that yellow line is at the north there, at the top, I mean, that's already encroaching upon it. But here they have pretty good area. Far away, yes. But we'll build that there. And then what I'm going to do is that this will get deleted and uh, I'll take this away as well. And then we'll be able to expand down here. We won't have this, this hunting cabin right there in the downtown area, so to speak. Um, health is a little bit failing here. I wonder if we need to put another herbalist over here as well. So I'll do that before I forget. Or a hospital. We don't have enough stone for a hospital. But this may be a good solution. I know we have hunting lot. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a hunting cabin. Okay, so we have a forester. 
I know we're, we're removing more of more forestry, but I feel that it's going to be worth it. No, I'm not going to put it that way. We'll put it. Uh, yeah, we'll put it like that. Okay, so we have that to build as well. Send a couple more builders. We need more stone once again. I know I'm running over here, people, for my 20 minutes, but just bear with me. I want to do this now before I forget. There we go. So we'll harvest that stone as well. Really depleting our stone reserves around the town. I think it's going to be time soon to build a quarry, so we'll have to deal with that in the coming um, in the coming episodes. But uh, we have a nice little agricultural place up here, which I like. Uh, that's still growing, our, our, our burgeoning agriculture, and we're, we're planning for the future once again. So... Uh, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching this episode of Chivo Town. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, share this around the internet. And if this is your first time here and you watched it the whole way, thank you for doing so. Go ahead and click on that that red subscribe button. Let's me know that I'm doing a great job and that you want to see more strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Until next time, everyone, good night and good luck. <laughs>